Hello, Lieutenants. Uh, I just got back from, I don't know, maybe a 200 mile ride. I don't know. I went from Hot Springs to Custer to Harney's Peak, then I hiked Harney's Peak, then hiked to the Cathedral Spires, then hiked to Lake Sylvan. Look all this stuff up. I did a lot. And that didn't end it. Then I did the Needles Highway, and then I went up the back way up Iron Mountain. This is all a motorcycle. And then I went to Mount Rushmore. Then I went to Keystone, did another motorcycle skint, uh, stint. Then I went to my favorite bar in the entire Black Hills over in Hill City. And then I finally got back. And between last night and this morning, uh, the rumor has it that with the new Minnesota state tax, sales tax thing, the Amazon tax, uh, a lot of readers and everybody want, hey, did you see that? Because I have the Amazon affiliate, and like many other people, actually Minnesota has a lot of bloggers. I mean, we have Powerline, uh, Northern Radio Alliance, all those guys, Mitch Burke, they got uh, blogs, and uh, I'm sorry, I'm very tired, physically exhausted. Uh, and we rely on um, Amazon affiliate, and the leftist bloggers do too. So I say, well, what do you think about it, blah, blah, blah. Well, let me explain to those of you who aren't from Minnesota a couple things about, I don't want to even say politics, but the people we have in office, okay? Mark Dayton, um, if you don't know who he is, he's our governor. And Dayton, that might sound familiar because there's a Dayton department stores in Shucks Howdy. He's related to that. His grandfather started it. Uh, that has since been sold into Federated and turned into Target, blah, blah, blah. But uh, the Daytons have been, the family have been divested of it many years. But they just have a buttload of cash. And Mark Dayton is basically a crusader, if you look at all. I even use him in the, in the video, but for those of you who don't even know what crusaders are, he's a spoiled little trust fund baby brat. He got his degree, I think, in psychology, just a BA. He became a teacher. He couldn't hack that in New York. And he came back, and seriously, he's just bored. So he decides to run for Senate because he's got the money. And he wins. And the reason he wins is because he's got the last name Dayton. And the Minnesota voters are so fucking stupid, they vote him in because he's got the last name. And so and then he was, he was a horrible senator. I, I'm not talking voting record. I'm just like, he, he ran by their son. Look it up. I, but this guy isn't all there. Right? This guy has had, he, what do you expect from a guy that's never had to work a real job, and never had to become a real man, never had to support himself, never had to fucking start a business? And now this idiot, this moron, uh, who has no real world experience, no experience being a self-supporting adult, he becomes governor because of his last name. So don't expect any logic or sanity out of this guy. This is this is what it is. This is what we get to deal with. Now, there's all, it's not just Mark Dane, but there's all these other Democrats, and uh, Minnesota's a very liberal state, but Mark Dane pretty much embodies, although to an extreme with the amount of money, he pretty much embodies all the traits that these uh, Minnesota liberals have. They're pretty much limousine liberals. They're spoiled rotten. Never, not one of them worked a fucking day in their life. Look up, uh, not Genghis Khan. Phyllis Khan. That's another gal. She's one of our state reps. She's a weird one. I've never been able to figure her out. She's got, like, degrees from Harvard and STEM. And then she's just worked in fucking government the entire time or, or been in um, public office. Uh, so my response... Well, that's the background. My response is I want to say, fuck you, Mark Dayton. You are fucking nothing compared to me or any of these other bloggers, any of these other fucking people who are trying to actually get a fucking life going here, some kind of fucking job, some kind of career. And, you know, this wasn't the end-all be-all, but it was nice, you know. Uh, I don't know if you're aware, but uh, these bloggers, we're not rich. Kind of younger side, too. So it really helped to get that, like, one to two hundred dollars a month. Right? But no, no, you know better. Because what? You were, if you don't know better, you're a spoiled little brat. You had, you were bored. Daddy, I'm bored. I want to run for Senate. Daddy, I'm bored. I want to be governor. And now it shows. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. You don't know how the economy works. You don't know how the real world works. You don't know how adults make money. You don't know how businesses are. You should, you know, you don't deserve the last name Dayton. Your grandfather did that. You, you're a fucking nobody. All right, and the only, you know, so that's, that's, you know, that's my response. Fuck you.
I'm not even going to bother trying to explain to you why you're wrong. I'm not going to try and bother explaining to you why it's stupid to tax. I'm not going to try and bother explaining to you why South Dakota, uh, the Department of Commerce, not the Department of Commerce, um, business, some, some nonprofit government related entity runs ads in the Twin Cities advertising trying to cajole businesses to move out of Minnesota. I'm not going to bother explaining it because truthfully, here's the paradox all you Democrats face. Your clients or how you get into office is by bribing other people with my money. That's it. That's how you do it. You say, hey, I'm going to tax the rich and the rich are a minority. I'm just, or we're going to hide the taxes and no one really think twice about it. Uh, and we're going to give this money. I'm going to take it. I'm going to give other people the money and then they'll vote me in. And the reason why is because you're bored. You don't give a damn about the country or the state. You don't give a damn about the economy. You don't give a damn about the people. It is all you, Mark Dayton. You're a fucking spoiled little brat from the suburbs who's got nothing better to do. And your ego, you value your ego and your boredom and your life more than you do the, the required statesmanship that is required of the other people. You value your one little self more than, well, I don't know, 8 million people in the state. And what's going to end up happening, and, and hear this out, your little let's go take money and give it to other people so that they go ahead and vote for me. Here's, here's what's going to happen. Let me, let me tell you how I'm going to handle this, Mark, because you're a fucking retard. I'm in South Dakota. You know what I'm going to do while I'm here to save myself a trip? I'm going to set up an LLC, and I'm just going to simply reapply for the Amazon affiliate program. And then that money is going to go to South Dakota. That's it. Now, of course, you've ruined, my, you know, you didn't ruin it, but, you, you know, it's like, okay, here's another fucking chore I got to do. I got to I gotta spend a day, but at least while I'm here, I don't have to make a separate trip to sign any paperwork. I'm going to go right to the uh, Secretary of State over in, uh, uh, I think they got an office in Rapid City, whatever. I'm going to set up an LLC in South Dakota and screw you, right? Yeah, it's, it's going to be an annoying thing, but uh, but that's capital fight, and you understand. So what's end up happening, and this is getting back to why it's not sustainable, is you rely on basically parasitic constituents. You rely on dependent, not production or non-producing, parasitical type humans to vote you in. So does do some of them work? Absolutely. And are all the Democrats in the state of Minnesota parent? No, I'm sure some of them are very hard work. But by and large, the majority of your constituents are parasitical and they rely on people like me to produce more, to pay for their shit and to bail them out of their mistakes, being having more kids than they can afford, their freaking uh, alcohol problems, whatever the preponderance of government socialist programs, uh, you people in Minnesota have voted in over this time, uh, free housing, free this or that, whatever, I and other people like me get to pay for it. Well, guess what? People are moving out. They are. And maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but you know, hey, and here's another thing. This is like a fat chick that's got attitude. All right, you're already fat, and the attitude is the fact that Minnesota is cold as hell. So people go to Florida now. Well, there's no state income tax. All right, wait, there's state corporate income. I don't think there's personal income tax. But whatever, when they don't get ass raped like they do in Minnesota. And now, oh, that's brilliant, Mark. Let's, <laughs> the internet, we could go anywhere. And you're going to try and tax that? I mean, shoot, you could be on a boat with a server and you get, so, you know, go ahead, do whatever you want. You, you Democrats, you left this, you, you, you know, you go ahead because you need more and more money because people like me are leaving the state. The producers are leaving and the parasites are coming in, right? All the new immigrants, and I don't mean uh, foreigners, immigrants, I'm talking immigrants, in, like people coming outside from Minnesota. The people that are coming in are nowhere near the quality and caliber in those who produce enough as those who are leaving, right? But that's good for you because you're going to keep riding. Well, what, what happens when there's no money left, Mark? Hey, hey, here's an idea for all you limousine liberals. How about you spend your own fucking money? Huh? Yeah, no, no. Let's go tax those poor bloggers. Let's go tax those poor, you know, stay-at-home dads or moms who have, like, this home-based business and they're making a little bit of extra cash and maybe they'll be able... How about you take some of that empire money and you go fund something? How about you guys all contribute all that money? Huh? All you people over on Crocus Hill, living there on Summit Avenue, and over your trust funders over at uh, Lake of the Isle, why don't you uh, why don't you take some of Daddy or Granddaddy's money, 
and uh, solve the fucking problem yourself instead of forcing it on uh, middle and low income people. You know, I, I, of course, I, I'm not, I'm not expecting, I'm just venting. I'm just, I'm sure Mark Dayton ain't going to see this. I, I'm sure, uh, and it would, go, it would be on deaf ears, in Mark's case, dumb ears, because he doesn't understand a concept like capital flight. Uh, he, and guys, you got to believe me, he really is that dumb. He, he's just, uh, <laughs> he's, he's so stupid, but the, 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 the people voted him in. Oh, because we care, and he says the right things. But, uh, yeah, so that's that's uh, my response. Uh, but the, the larger lesson for everyone out there, Cappy Capites, lieutenants, economists, and all people in between, is you don't have to take this. All right? You could go to greener pastures. All right? Uh, go to South Dakota. Go to Florida. I had to look up. South Dakota has an interesting law. They say, yeah, we're going to tax it, but you don't have to file for it, and there's no punishment. God bless you people in South Dakota. You guys over at the government there know what you're doing. I mean, it's like, it's almost like, my God, they want to help out the people and bring business in. Where you guys want, you know, in Minnesota, it's just a socialist state. Oh, we care because of our Swedish Scandinavian background. We care. What? You got an, you just came off the boat. And here's your EVT card. Oh, no, it's all right. You're already discriminated again. Okay. Here's free education for every major in sociology. Maybe you become governor like me. Oh, wait, you can't. Your daddy didn't start like the second largest retailer. <laughs> so that's it. Uh, yeah, get out, guys. You know, don't set up. Go, go where it's nice. Florida's warm. Texas is warm. Minnesota, again, the fat chick with attitude, economically speaking. So, toodles.